Hey guys. So we received a request from CV uh, and that request is asking how to demonstrate that cell population levels are changing in men and women differently. Uh, and then to visually represent this uh, by taking a male or female silhouette and then having a color overlay uh, like orange fluctuate in height on the silhouette. So what I created for this, this gentleman right here is basically that. Um, and as we see, we play through, that's what we're seeing. And uh, what we're gonna do together is to replicate this for, for a female. All right, and as a very quick rundown of what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna have four basic steps. First, uh, we need to create a mask around this female silhouette, which will, uh, number one, allow us to get rid of this, this white background that we don't wanna see but also so that we can animate a color inside that mask. And the mask is absolutely crucial to being able to do that. Um, and so we'll be using that with the pen tool up here in just a moment. For the second step, we're gonna create a color layer beneath the, beneath the female silhouette, and we're gonna copy the mask path that we're actually generating in uh, this first mask. Uh, around this female. We're gonna copy that and then paste it onto that color solid so that only the area inside the mask will receive the colored animation that we're gonna create. Three, we need to create an effect that's basically a wipe that'll go from the bottom of the screen to the top um, to an area that we define. And I'm thinking that it'll likely maybe go around to the middle of her face. Um, and so right around there and uh, it's going to go for about um, one and a half seconds, basically. Um, and so the fourth step is actually animating that using keyframes. And again, we're going to do that over a period of one and a half seconds. And this is what it'll look like from beginning to end. Cool. So uh, let's get started with step one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is with the women silhouette uh, selected, we're going to use our pen tool to create a mask around uh, her silhouette. So let's get to that. And if you need a reminder or just a flat out tutorial on how you can mask out an object using the pen tool, check out this video that I will link to on the screen. Okay, so now we have our completed mask, and note that it is not perfect, but it will uh, suffice for our purposes. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make a, uh, a solid color that we're then gonna take uh, this mask right here that we can see all these green, green points. Uh, we're gonna copy that onto um, that of the new solid. Okay, so I'm gonna right click, new, solid and this already has our color selected. So let's just, uh, how about female solid? And I'm gonna hit okay. All right, move this underneath. Okay, so now we see our, uh, our female silhouette. Now we need to copy, uh, oops, not that. Um, we're gonna click on the mask inside the silhouette and hit Command C. And then we're gonna come down here to female solid and hit command V. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this doesn't look like exactly what we want here, but that's okay. Um, so this, this female silhouette is a little bit uh, smaller. So once I brought it into uh, After Effects, I needed to enlarge it so that I'd be able to have um, a little bit more uh, visibility in terms of being able to mask it out. Um, so since, since it copied that path, it copied it uh, relatively. Um, so what we need to do is we need to copy the transform functions of this female silhouette into our female solid color. So if I go down to uh, transform and hit command C, similar to how I just did this with the mask as well. So you can see we have our mask here. And now if I hit command V, boom. So now we have our uh, 
female solid that is selected and it's uh, matching the path and size and transform properties of the woman silhouette PNG. All right, so we are very close to where we want to be. Um, what we are seeing right now is the mask that we created for the female silhouette. Uh, and we are not seeing the actual silhouette itself because this layer is deselected as I select it. Now we have that toggle on again. And so what we need to do right now to recreate um, this animation is just apply an effect that will then uh, wipe on and reveal this uh, pinkish red uh, color from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. So let's do that. Let's make sure we're at the beginning of the timeline, make sure this is uh, the woman silhouette layers is selected. And if we go up to effect and then transition and then linear wipe, now we have uh, our effect visible up here and we have some different properties that we can uh, manipulate. So if I just click click and then drag on transition complete, this is basically at what level of completion the wipe will actually go towards. Um, and so this is good, this is moving in the right direction, but uh, this is not the angle that we want this to be in. So if we bring this back, um, you can see right here that um, this, this stopwatch or this clock is actually pointing to what looks like three o'clock. You can imagine where it's pointing to be where the animation is the direction of animation, basically. So since it's pointing uh, to the right, that's what's happening right here. If we were to change this to 12 o'clock, let's say, uh, or zero degrees, and then we go, then we scroll from uh, zero percent all the way up to 100 let's say now we're getting the uh the effect that we want this is exactly how we want this to to go in the, the direction of the animation that we want um so awesome so let's make sure we are at the beginning of our timeline we are and down here i'm going to go into the effects under under woman silhouette and linear wipe and then i'm going to select the stopwatch for trans transition complete Excellent, and we have our blue diamond right there. We can see the keyframe right here as well. And then this animation for our, our gentleman fella uh, is right at one second and 15 frames. So let's, um, let's mirror that. And by clicking keyframe over here, this diamond. And great, so now we have our two points and now we need to adjust the properties between them. So since we want this to start at 0%, this is actually perfect. And then uh, I think we want this to go to right around the middle of this, this woman's um, silhouetted face, and let's just say 94%. Okay, so let's go back and play this back and see how this looks. Okay, so this is uh, basically what we want. Uh, again, you can be a lot more detailed on this. You can be more stylized, but this is the basic uh, functionality and how you uh, animate that kind of uh, visualization.